What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super exciting, very quick guide, I'll show you WAN 2.1, the brand new video generation model by Alibaba has been released to the public completely for free. You can download this and start generating videos on your own PC, much like you would images. This, of course, isn't the first video generation model, but it is the first that claims really good comprehension of physics and visual coherence, things like that. If you wanna download this and try it out, it's kind of difficult following the official means, but if we use Comfy UI and a couple of different free workflows that I'll link you down below, it's very easy to get into. While the official model needs quite a bit of RAM to run, if you download the much smaller model, your videos are definitely not gonna be that good at all. And the official bigger models need way too much VRAM to run on most consumer GPUs that are affordable. However, people have created much smaller, pruned and compressed models based off the official models that give us really good quality running on pretty much home PCs. I'll show you how to do all of that now. So WAN 2.1, you'll find a link to the official GitHub page down below and the official Hugging Face page if you wanna try it out for free online. Do note it's kinda of slow. It does support English and Chinese, but to get it working on your own PC, we're gonna be using Comfy UI. I set this up in the previous video. You'll find it linked down below. It's the very simple basic installation. Just double clicking run, gets Comfy UI to start, and we can generate images. I've also got Comfy UI Manager installed, which is really important for installing custom workflows. With that out of the way, assuming you're on the same page as me, let's continue. Basically, all of this is possible because of this very simple plugin, Comfy UI WAN Video Wrapper. This, by Kid AI, allows Comfy UI to use WAN Video, which is fantastic. Without this simple project, none of this would be possible. And of course, from the person themselves, they've also created these pruned and compressed models, which you can find on their hugging face, which include the I2V image to video and T2V text to video models in a bunch of different formats that should work for most PCs. But for now, let's start by installing it. In your Comfy UI, open the manager, followed by custom nodes manager, and search for, in the search box up here, WAN Video Wrapper, one word. Install the one by Kij AI, right here. We'll leave it as nightly for the latest version. And if you get something like this, you'll need to head back, and in your actual files, open Comfy UI, then open the user folder, followed by default and Comfy UI Manager. Inside of here, we have config.ini. Open this with any text editor like Notepad. And inside of here, look for security level. Simply change this to weak, W-E-A-K. Save this file and close it. Now, we should be able to restart. This time it should work, so we'll try and install it once more. And there we go. This time it installs properly and a restart is required. So we'll click restart, confirm, and wait for it to reset. Once a couple of small installs finish, we can confirm, reload, and we're ready now. So now from the WAN Video Wrapper page, we'll open the example workflows section here, though you can download them from any website, and we'll pick one of these. Let's go with the 480p image to video example. We'll click this, then choose download raw file, and we can just drag and drop it into Comfy UI. Now we can see that we're missing two different nodes. We can close that and use the Comfy UI Manager, followed by Install Missing Custom Nodes, and we can see two of them here. We'll click Install next to the first one, wait for this to finish, and then the second one. Select, wait for it to finish, and now we can restart. After Comfy UI starts once more, we're now able to almost generate some videos. If we click Q, you'll see we're missing quite a few different files. We're missing UMT, Open Clip, RV, and the actual WAN video model. Okay, so first of all, from this page over here, linked down below, KidJI WAN Video Comfy, we need to download this file, which is here. So download, followed by open clip, which should be this first one over here. So I'll download this. All of the name seems to have slightly changed. It's gone from 14 FP16 to 14 visual FP16. So we might need to change that. And for the VE, we need to download this one here, which is right over here. So download, and finally the actual model, which should be the largest download, 17 gigs right here. Now, we just need to wait for all of these to finish. Now, we need to move all of these files to where they belong. UMT5, etc., etc., is a text encoder, meaning Comfy UI, Comfy UI, models, followed by text encoders. Here is where it goes. Moving it in here, next, open clip. This is a clip encoder. 
So we'll go back and inside of the clip folder, we'll place open clip here. Then because it's named slightly differently, down here by the WAN video clip encoder, we'll click the model name and change it to the visual option here, open clip, etc. Now we need the WAN V. This goes into the V folder. It expects the V to be in a WAN video folder. So we'll make a new folder, WAN video and place it in here. Finally, the actual model itself. Again, it wants us to put it into a folder. It goes in the diffusion underscore models folder. We'll make a new folder here, WAN video, and inside of here, we can place our actual model. There we go. Now when we queue again, all of the errors except for one are gone. Old man upscaled.png. This in the bottom left is what we want our input image to be. This will be resized over here so we can use whatever one we want. Let's go ahead and choose a file to upload. I've placed an image here, which is definitely not going to result in horrible, horrible video generation. It's being resized and piped into WAN video, where it's shortly after creating a video at 16 FPS, which it needs to stay at 16 FPS, just because that's how this thing works. And it's creating an MP4 file just called WAN video. And finally, before we start this thing right over here in the center is the text and code, what we want it to do. Let's say, because this is a man making a silly face, let's say man makes a silly face. However, yours could be person spins around if you want to get a 360 or something like that. I'll leave the default as bad quality video. Now we just need to set Q and wait for this thing to finish. Depending on the speed of your system, this could take a long time to a very long time. And once the video is done, it runs through the decoder stage where shortly after you'll get the actual output. Where does it go? Well, it actually plays right here. So this isn't the same video that I promise you. It's infinitely cooler. I put in this image of definitely not Peter Griffin and gave it the prompt, man does karate and ninja moves. This spat out this video here, which is uh, pretty intense to say the least. I would definitely be very intimidated. I'm sure you would too. And there you go. That's how to generate some crazy videos on your own PC completely for free. This just took a long while. Also, keep in mind, this video was generated on the 480p model. If I used the 720p model, it would probably come out quite a bit better. But anyways, hopefully I haven't scarred you too much with these crazy physics in this video. But thank you all for watching this far. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.